Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, uh, and it's time for another beer review. Time for another Virgin beer review and another Virgin brewery review. If you've just found us here on YouTube, then as I say, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. On the Hop House, we like house music, we like hoppy beer. We're on the beer side, as pretty much most of the channel has been. And I'm going to go with my third beer that um, is a little gift that was uh, brought for me courtesy of Mama B and Andy. Uh, it's the old mother-in-law and uh, her chap, basically friends of the channel. And they've been out and about on the travels and they picked me up a couple of beers to review. We did two from uh, Tenby Harbour Brewery um, that was... Well, overall, it was iffy because the first one, I had three mouthfuls that went down the sink. There was definitely something wrong with that, their pale ale. And then their Pia Wanga New Zealand beer was really quite nice. Got a thumbs up. So go check out those reviews. Uh, now we're going... They, they went to Tenby in, in August and picked up those two beers for me. This one, I think they only got a couple of weeks back. That's two or three weeks ago, last month, basically. They went to Bath uh, for Andy's birthday and they uh, managed to pick up this beer from a brewery that I've never heard of before. So when they said they got me a beer from Bath, I was um, thinking Bath Ales. I've had some Bath Ales beers before. I've had Gem, I've had Lansdowne, and I've had another one as well. Something to do with the hair. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, but yeah, I, I was thinking that they meant Bath Ales, but they don't. So this is a brand new brewery to me. Never had anything from them before. Should we see what we're reviewing? Okay, so it's called Bath Water and it's from Abbey Ales. There you go. Abbey Ales Bath Water. It is brewed with genuine water from Bath. I'm hoping it doesn't mean the Roman baths because the water in there is rather green. It looks a bit like that uh, Tembi beer that we have. It's 5% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. I believe this is um, manufactured at the Abbey Brewery in the heart of Bath. I believe this is like an ESB, an extra strength bitter. It's got a gold bottle cap. There's no, it's just quite plain gold. There's no uh, logo on it or anything. But yeah, thank you very much, Andy, for picking this up. Abbey Ale's not heard of them before. And I believe they may actually have subscribed to my channel because I think Andy sort of said, I will pick up this beer and, you know, go check out the Hop House on YouTube. He does beer reviews. So if you are watching the guys at Abbey Ales, you know, I've got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping good things. Not heard of you before. And if I really like this beer, I might order some more in the future. I'm going to start ordering online and things like that in the next year from more niche craft brewers. The majority of the stuff I do is, is things you can get in supermarkets. But I do like to pick on some, some local ales from here, there and everywhere. So the, you're brand new to me. Right, let's get all into the glass. Got the uh, purity glass for this one. It's been disinfected since that bloody Henry Brewery thing. The pale ale. Oof, something really went well there. I'll say no more, sorry. Um, I'll tag them in it anyway, and then they can sort of take a look. Maybe just out of quality control in case anyone else gets any bottles that are like that. You don't really want that, do you? Right, trying to encourage a bit of a head because this glass is not very good for it. There you go. There you go. Right then, your beer in the glass. It's a golden to amber colour beer, a little bit of white head on it, uh, some slow moving bubbles up the side, but as I say, this glass doesn't have a widgety thing at the bottom, so it doesn't usually hold head very well. So don't take that away from the beer. You should probably use a different glass, but I just really like the design of this glass. It's my favourite. Yeah, it looks, looks okay. It looks a bit lighter than I would expect from a Best Bitter, but I believe it's sort of an ESB. Usually a bit more coppery, mahogany, um, chestnutty colour. But this is more golden to amber. Good clarity on it, very clear, very see-through. It has been filtered, it has been fined. Right, let's get the nose in there. So this is the point in the video, if you're new, where we give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. It smells like a best bitter. It's got that multi note, bready, malt, like dry bread smell from the malt. It's got the peppery spiciness from the British hop. It's got a little bit of sort of marmalade sort of tart marmalade smell. Mmm, smells, smells pretty decent. 
yeah, as I say, the head's disappearing. Please don't hold that against the beer. It's probably just this glass. Um, but yeah, it smells. It smells. Ooh, now I'm getting. Hang on. Yeah, I've got the peppery spiciness, and now I'm getting the the brambly, twiggy sort of peaty traditional British hop smell, like a Fuggles or a Gold Stirring Goldings or a Challenger or something. Right. Bottoms up down the hatch. Give it a try. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. And now I've jigged it about a bit and re whiffed it. Oh, it's now coming off. Boom, you peppery, black pepper, spicy, marmalade, tartness. Twiggy, brambly, all that good stuff. Mmm, that's got lots of flavour, that's really nice. Although it looks, sorry, I'm just trying to rejig it here to get a head going. There we go, there we go. I'm just staring at the glass because I really don't want to spill it on the floor. There we go. A bit more of a head now, a bit of laser vision. Yeah, it laces around the glass pretty nicely. Um, oh, now I've jigged it about. It's really brought out the aroma. It's really, really coming through. That, that, that bramble, twiggy, sort of thorn, thorny. You know, if you're walking through the woods and you can smell like a brambly, bushy, sort of twiggy smell. And then the peppery spiciness and a bit of marmalade, tart marmalade. That's the best beer out of the three. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's do a bit more lace division for those that love the lacing. Now I can do it properly. Look how it laces in the glass. Really, really nice. Sort of follow the bubbles, follow the bottom of the head. Really, really nice. Decent quality beer. It's all right. Once I jigged it about a bit in this glass, and I'm blaming it on the glass, not on the beer. Oh, it's really coming to the forefront now, that per peaty, earthy twigginess. Yeah, the peppery, the pepperiness hit me at first, but the pepperiness is on the taste. So, you get a mouthful of it, and, you know, proper, real good quality best bitter. And I've had, a re I've had a real resurgence of love for best bitter over the past few months. Maybe I've been, all been IPA'd out, especially New England IPA, but then again, I still love a good but I've really come back to this style and learned to appreciate it again. And I think it's making a comeback. Because there are certain other craft beers, uh, maybe like one mentioned in this t-shirt, uh, that have br brewing sort of uh, ESBs and best bitters and going back to sort of basics. And it's a style that's been around for years and maybe underappreciated with the, the hop forward American and, and Kiwi stuff coming. Mm. it's a five percent beer the body i'd say sort of medium it's not overly heavy uh, it's sort of a light to medium body uh, you've got the sweet that goes down the middle of the tongue that's your malt that's your sort of dry bread with a bit of i don't know maybe sugar on it or something that's a really weird way of describing it but the sweet is down the middle of the tongue the tartness goes down the side and you are getting pepperiness you're getting tart marmalade, a little bit of malt as well, but it's really more all about the brambly, spicy marmalade tartness that you would expect from a best bitter and British hops. And then on the back end, it's like a marmalade aftertaste. It's really tart. It stays. It lingers. It's there. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. Right. Bath water. So it says Abbey Ale, situated within the World Heritage City of Bath, the Abbey Brewery has been producing its award-winning traditional English ale since 1997. On the other side, Bath Abbey. There's been a Christian church on the site of Bath Abbey for over 1300 years. Today, Bath Abbey is a parish church, but before 1539, it was a Benedictine monastery. 
there were two, those were two big words for me to read out in this small writing. Our Bathwater Ale is a traditional style bitter with a refreshing hoppy finish and is part of a long timeline building on the monk's 500 year legacy. The Abbey Brewery Camden Road Bath www.abbeyales.co.uk Bath Water 5% Best Bitter or ESB Stunning, lovely, really, really nice. Although it looks light for a Best Bitter I think it really works because it dum maybe dumbs down the malt a bit much and it's not salty malty. Um, if you've seen my other reviews, a lot of, well, mainly Green King beer, but you know, take that as what you will. But a lot of their beer, it's very bready, malty and a bit savoury and a bit, there's nothing to it. You know, you, you it goes in your mouth, it, it goes around a bit and it disappears and it's just halfway down it, you're like, oh, I'm bored of this. Salty malty, I, I, people drink beer like that and I don't understand why. It just bores me, personally. This doesn't. This, I think the light of the colour actually does it well, because it does dumb down the malt a bit. Yeah. Oh, it's really, really got that spicy element to it. Spicy, and then the marmalade kicks in on the back end. Great. Abbey Ales, I'm going to have a look out for you when I next venture down to Bath. I might see if I can get in your um, pub or tap room or whatever the heck you've got. But I'll certainly have a look more online as well. Next year, I'm going to venture into more sort of niche breweries and order some things direct from, from people. And I think I'll give you a go because I'm really impressed with that. I like that so much. I'm going to give that two thumbs up. It's two thumbs up from me, which which is a great rating. Thumbs up means, uh, yes, I'd buy it again. Thumbs in the middle isn't it? It's all right, I'd drink it again if I got it bought. Thumbs down probably means it's going down the sink, like beer I had earlier. Two thumbs up is like, wow, where can I get that again? Uh, and I will buy that again. I'd love to have that on cask. It's this good in the bottle. It's got to be absolute genius on cask. Fair play to the slightly lighter colour of the best bitter, but it really delivers on flavour. Really the hop shine. Mm. It doesn't taste like a 5% either. That's a problem, you see. I'd probably try and session about three or four of them and then I'd be like, oh, what's happened? Lovely. Two thumbs up. Great, great beer. Fantastic. Bath water. Well, I certainly enjoyed drinking bath water. Right, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again for another beer review right here on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people. Ooh, lovely. <laughs>